we want to derive the formula for the derivative of the natural log function. And uh, remember, we had this postage stamp right here with one of the little identities from logarithms and exponential functions here. That identity is this, e to the log x is equal to x. And remember, as far as justifying this, this logarithm right here, the base is e, and this stands for the number we raise e to to get x. If we raise e to that number, we have to get x. Okay, a corresponding identity uh, along the same lines as this, the natural log of e to the x is equal to x. So remember, this is the number that we raise e to in order to get e to the x. What's that number? x. So both of these things are identities, and they come from the fact that the natural logarithmic function and the natural exponential function are inverse functions of each other. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to implicitly differentiate it. I'm just going to go find the derivative left to right. So I take the derivative, the, the derivative with respect to x of log e to the x, and then I take the derivative of this, the derivative with respect to x of x. Well, look, I know what that is. That just comes out 1. The derivative of x with respect to x is 1. How about the derivative of natural log e to the x? Well, remember our formula for the, the derivative of y equal natural log u is 1 over u times the derivative of u with respect to x. If I have just y is equal to natural log x, then the derivative of y with respect to x is just 1 over x. But if this right here isn't x and I'm differentiating with respect to x, then it's the chain rule. Remember, 1 over u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So I'll apply that right here. What's the derivative of log u right here? Well, it's 1 over u times the derivative with respect to x of u itself. So the derivative of natural log e to the x is 1 over e to the x times the derivative of e to the x. Well, look, I'll multiply both sides here by e to the x, and I get this. The derivative with respect to x of e to the x is equal to e to the x. So the derivation is just that simple if I know the derivative of log u which I did in the previous section. So because I know how to differentiate this logarithm, I just take that reciprocal out in front, and then I differentiate that argument of that function, the derivative of e to the x. Well, that's what I'm looking for, is the derivative with respect to x of e to the x. So all I have to do is multiply both sides by e to the x, and I find out that derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So all we're trying to do here is give ourselves a reason to believe these formulas. So we're saying that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we want some justification for it. That's what this is all about right here. So if that's enough justification for you, you're in great shape. You can believe that formula. Now all you have to do is go and use it.